Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. Uh, over the last three or four years, we've been keeping a close eye on tar spot, a new uh, corn leaf disease which has moved north from the U.S. and is now establishing a foothold in Ontario. We saw a lot of disease in 2021, and today we're going to talk management strategy for 2022. Uh, and for some thoughts on what growers should be thinking about as the new season approaches, I'm joined by Albert Tenuta, Omafra's plant pathologist. Hi, Albert. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Bern. Always love these sessions and that, and looking forward to it. Now, Albert, um, before we talk strategy, um, tell me about, I guess, the type of impact tar spot could make in 2022. Um, what factors will impact that? Uh, do we have to consider the amount of disease we saw last year, um, its ability to overwinter, the weather, or, or is it really you know, about all those above? Yeah, it's, it's basically all of the above there, Bern. And um, when you think about it, 2021 was our first experience with tar spot in Ontario on the overwintering side. So, you know, we expected and we saw it overwinter quite quite well in, in southern Ontario where we had seen it in, in the late 2020, uh, fall of 2020 and that. So we do know it, it's here now. Uh, weather really drives a lot of this. And we saw that last year and you were out with us through multiple times through the season and saw the progression of the tar spot development. And it was almost a perfect storm last year with the continuous uh, wetness, but also that leaf wetness that we had. So rain wasn't the only factor. And so weather, um, the levels there, we are going to start seeing if, if the experience is in with the U.S. that as the disease becomes more endemic, meaning that it establishes more in more fields and you have more of an overwintering population, then you start seeing those early development um, as, as we saw last year and the risk becomes more of a internal or more of an Ontario versus right now, a lot of our risk is still dependent on the U S and those spore fronts. So, Hey, um, we'll come back to weather in a minute, but Hey, let's, let's talk about some, some management strategies and uh, v variety selection. Let's start there. You know, can we find, you know, hybrids with good, you know, tar spot ratings, uh, you know, good tolerance. Um, you tested hybrids last year here in Ontario. What did you learn? So we learned that there's a lot of variability there and we're not there yet is the, is the, the simple fact there, Vern. And, um, and that's the same with uh, what we're seeing with the U S it's had more experience with, with hybrids and uh, ratings for, for tar spot and that we, we tested 64 at Ridgetown, a good, a uh, mix of different companies and, and germplasm and that, and we saw variability. We saw nothing that is immune or totally resistant to tar spot. So that's the first thing. Uh, so we're talking about the, 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 the gradient between what we would call a more highly resistant to a more susceptible hybrid there. And the ranges are there. The issue becomes, so we've got to see it under multiple environments, under multiple years to see that consistency of the germplasm or those hybrids in these uh, different environments and that. And so slowly we're working with, with the seed companies. All the seed companies are also doing it as well. You're starting to see some of them in Ontario starting to have a hybrid list that has some um, you know, ratings for, for tar spot. You're going to see more and more of that. Um, but again, we're, we're not there yet. Hey, let's talk about, uh, scouting and, you know, and, and, and watching the weather and how important that is, you know, you know, and when should growers get out there and scout, um, you know, how do we, how do we tackle that this year? Yeah. So first of all, the, the key one there is, you know, you got to ask yourself, you know, is tar spot been in my area? Is it endemic in the area? That's the first thing. So last year, Southwestern Ontario, we knew the lower five counties, um, you know, as of the end of uh, last year, you know, basically from, from Windsor to Simcoe. Um, so from Essex to Simcoe County, we had tar spot through, through those counties um, again, mostly in the, in the Southwest. So you've got to ask yourself is tar spot, have I had it or is it in my field? Hence the overwintering, risks there. And with that, that's where that early establishment, say that as we saw this year, that first week of July, um, you could start seeing those, those tar spot lesions on those lower leaves. So if you've got 
disease in the past. It's in the area. You probably want to be out there, you know, after Canada Day, you know, those first two weeks of July and, and just take a look and, and see what's there. The good part of the scouting is that we also have other tools available to us, right? So we do have the IPM corn, IPM pipe, where we do that real tracking of tar spot right through the season. And basically, if we see it, it gets put on there basically that same day. So we do have that ability to track it from the U.S. and Ontario. Um, and then we have some some apps that can help us, such as Tar Spotter. What about fungicides, Albert? Um, last year, you saw up to a 30 bushel protection, you know, from fungicides in your trials at Rodney. You know, what do we need to consider when selecting a fungicide? You know, when a timing, you know, multiple modes of actions? Yeah, so on the... First of all, on the fungicides, um, you know, we've got information available and, and you've got it through our Pub Bay 12, the Crop Protection Network. Um, and that right now for Ontario, when it comes to tar spot alone, the two products that are registered for it are Veltima and Delero Complete. Those are the two right now. There are other ones that will be, um, have been put into the registration system and hopefully will be available this summer as well. Um, so choice of uh, your product, both of those are excellent uh, against tar spot as well as some others. Um, the mode of actions is an interesting one, uh, Burn. As you mentioned, the, you know, more multiple modes of action seem to provide better control for tar spot and other diseases as well. And you're seeing that trend in industry going to two or three way modes of action. It also helps on resistance management as well. Your first comment there in terms of yield potential and yield losses, we saw, yeah, on average, anywhere up to 25 to 30 bushels for, for certain fungicides, good effective fungicides, and some plots between treated and untreated, you know, and especially if you do that whole IPM, um, bringing in a more tolerant hybrid as well, we saw up to 80 bushels uh, difference between those. So that shows that whole integrated management approach is ideal suited for for tar spot management in the u.s you know over the years they've seen on average again that you know very low losses to that 20 30 bushel averages this past year in some irrigated irrigated uh, fields you know over 100 bushels loss so it's something to to be cautious about aware don't fear it we do have the good news from 2021 is we do have the tools available to us in ontario to manage tar spot, we just have to refine them, get them going. And then you also mentioned that timing side of things, right? You know, I as one, you know, that that tassel to R1 timing is critical for us for other, other reasons for Ontario, particularly, you know, other leaf diseases like northern corn leaf blight. But don't forget about gibberella and mycotoxins and dawn. And so although we may hear some, you know, some some results say out of the US, and and again. Right off the bat, I will say the VT, that tassel to R1, has been the most consistent over the years uh, for, for tar spot and other disease management. Um, and so from an Ontario perspective, you know, I, I can't see us going off that window because of the risk that we have for these other problems that could occur. Well, um, Albert, hey, great to have you on the Corn School. Uh, I'm sure we'll be out in the field with you this summer, and we'll, uh, we'll be following this story through the season. Uh, thank you again, sir. We'll see you in the field. Uh, we'll be together a lot, Vern. Thank you so much.